That was close. All right, you guys, what is going on? This is the Blue Jimmy Fan 48 here, and before we start, um, before we start this this uh, this special video, um, let me be the first to say that I wholeheartedly apologize um, about the way I was acting in yesterday in um in my most recent race reaction. Um, apparently, I got carried away when when jo when when Johnson spun out twice as a matter of fact and um yeah um after reviewing everything and watching it over and over again i honestly do kind of regret my behavior that i have taken and i did say before in another video that i was going to we were going to cut we were going to cut out the at the cursing as much as we can and also we had to watch our behavior as well not just me, but the entire reaction squad. We had to watch our behavior as well. So definitely, we are gonna have to take that into consideration. And um, I'm sorry if um, I offended you or anything like that, because I don't want to be a bad. I don't want to be a bad example for any of you guys, because because deep down I am nice, but there are just times when you know when something happens, uh, when something happens on the track, you get a little frustrated over it, but. Um, I'm going to try my best uh, not to overreact this time. So, I just hope you guys understand. Anyways, let's get on to this special. Because I just hit 600 subscribers, baby! Whoa! Oh my god, you have no idea how... I cannot believe I just hit 600 subs on this channel. Um, I thought from when I started YouTube, this stream was never ever going to become a reality. But thanks to you guys... We have hit this milestone, and we are less now that we are now less than 400 subs away from my ultimate goal of 1,000. I I am I am just baffled right now how how I have 600 subscribers now on this channel, and how like yesterday it, it, I had like what 589 or something like that, and then the next day I woke up to 600 plus subscribers. I am just I am just blown out of my mind right now. You. You guys are are all amazing, and I don't I don't know where I would I don't know who I would be today without without all of you. But anyway, um, yeah, this special video, um, I asked on Instagram, um, on an Instagram poll, um, what you guys wanted to see for a 600 subscriber special, and you guys overwhelmingly suggested that I say who my final four is for this year's playoffs. Well, um, you guys asked for it. You're gonna get it today. Quick note before we before we get into my four picks for the final four. Um, this is just my opinion alone. Please do not go down into the comments and say that. Um, you know, um, please, please just don't just don't be mean in the comments about my opinion. This is my personal opinion, so please take this with with a little bit of salt. But anyway, let's get on into the countdown. Seated in the number four position will be Kevin Harvick. Now, some of you may be curious as to why I choose Kevin Harvick as my number four pick. Well, the reason why I choose Kevin, Ke Kevin Harvick to be in my Final Four is mainly because of one track. Phoenix International Raceway. Kevin Harvick's Playground. You see, Harvick has won so many times at Phoenix. I mean, he knows the track inside and out. And, um... Yeah, but the only reason I see Harvick in my, yeah, because the only reason I see Harvick in my final four is if he is if he wins Phoenix, um, because um, I would um, because Martinsville hasn't really been good to, hasn't really not been good to Harvick as of late, and Texas he's come close a few times but he hasn't gotten the job done. Um, but the reason why I pick Harvick in my Final Four is because of him winning Phoenix. Um, which is most likely is probably what's going to happen. Um, unless some other... Unless some other... Um, so unless something else controversial happens. Um, but yeah, if Harvick wouldn't have... If Harvick didn't win in... If Harvick doesn't get a... If Harvick, like... Um, 
Does it, um, how do I say this? Um, uh, like, if Harvick, like, I, like, Harvick has struggled, honestly, in that, in the round of eight before. Um, he really hasn't had troubles in, uh, when he was with Swordhouse Racing in 2014-2015. Um, but 2016, uh, yeah, bad luck got him. Finally, finally caught up to him. Uh, and if, um, and if, uh, yeah, the only reason why I see Harvey in my Final Four is, is if he wins Phoenix. But other than that, I honestly don't think he will be making it to the, fi to the Final Four. Um, because of, because of him being in a Ford instead of a Chevy, because in a Chevy, he was dominating everyone, but yet compared to this season where he only has, I don't even know how many, I think, I don't, he has what, what, one or two victories. I know one of them was at Sonoma this year, but he really hasn't been as dominant as, as he was when he was in a Chevy. Um, but other than, but other than that, I kind of. I, I kind of expect Harvick in my I kind of expect Harvick in the final four because he does he does tend to run up front a lot. But um but the only reason I see him in my final four is um is because of him winning Phoenix and that is my pick alone. Coming in at number three seed will be Kyle Bush. Now come on. With the season Kyle Bush has had all year, it's no surprise he's going to be in this final four. Um, because, because of him, well, obviously, well, obviously, he's been leading laps. He's up front, but of course he ends up choking it all away in the end. But, um, yeah, the round, but yeah, the round of 12 almost got him really good. It almost, it almost got him pretty good, especially at Talladega and, uh, and also the recent Kansas race as well. Because, um. Because of some because of some late controversy that um, that sent Kyle to the back to the to the back of the pack. I think it was probably because of bad strategy, and uh, and Kyle Busch almost got knocked out of uh, of the of the round of twelve. So if uh, so he if so really the round of twelve is not a strong suit, but I do see but I do see potential in the round of eight for Kyle Busch because. Uh, because he, because because he's pretty good. He's actually pretty good at Martinsville. He's actually, um, he's won at Texas a few times, but that was on the old surface. And Phoenix, he usually runs up front in Phoenix, so don't expect don't expect him to be uh, another kid another candidate for the win to challenge against Harvick in Phoenix. Um, so yeah, I mean Kyle Busch has pretty much been consistent throughout this whole entire this. Uh, Almost this entire playoffs, except for those couple of races in the round of twelve, he's been up front. He's been leading laps. Um, don't be surprised if he's in the if he's in the final four. Don't 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 be surprised by any stretch. And I understand there's um oh wow I just kinked my headphones. I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, but don't. And I know obviously there's um gonna be gonna be a lot of hate comments. I understand. I understand that, but this is just my personal opinion. I really don't like Kyle Busch at all, but I kind of expect him to be in the final four, regard regardless, because of because of how his season has gone, and uh, yeah. Coming in at number two will be Jimmy Johnson. If many of you are new to my channel, um, yeah. There's this one driver I like. He drives number 48, low Chevrolet. He's a seven-time champion. And he is definitely going to be in my Final Four, without question. Jimmy Johnson. Without question, Johnson is in my Final Four. Reason why? Is because of his dominance at Martinsville and Texas. Because if Johnson... Now, I will have to admit... I will have to admit, Johnson has not had the best season I was hoping for. Johnson has not had the best season I was hoping for. Fairly inconsistent, very inconsistent, very inconsistent finishes. Um, he only got like a few top tens. Uh, he only got like a few top tens this um, this 
what throughout the first 26 races and now he's finally score now he's finally getting top fives top tens now in this uh in this for in this new format um especially when it came down to especially when it came down to those crucial moments um when when it mattered most when whenever johnson was in whenever when johnson was in a hole so far this season he bounced back and yesterday was another was another example of that. It shows you even with even with damage, even with a damaged car, you keep fighting. I absolutely love that. And and because and because of that, Johnson was able to survive Kansas and he is in and he is in the round of eight. And I expect him in my final four because he is either going to win Martinsville or Texas, in my opinion. If if he can't win on any of those tracks, then don't expect it. Then then don't be surprised if he's running up front, getting those stage points and trying to contend for the win. Don't be don't be surprised by any stretch of the imagination. The only way I see him out of the final four is if some is if something bad if something if another if we get involved in another crash, and you probably may know my reaction by now. God! Yeah, I still regret that. I still kind of, I still really regret that. By the way, I love the comment where I love the comment where it said it's my own personal alarm clock. No problem, bud. Um, <laughs> but anyway, Johnson definitely in my definitely in my final four. Um, if not, he if not, then consist consistency has to be key. And going to the final four in Homestead will be none other than Martin Truex Jr. It's honestly no surprise that we are going to see Martin Truex Jr. in the Final Four. Without question. The season he's had... Um, the, I mean, this whole season could just... Is just... Is the Martin Truex Jr. year. I think this year, personally... I think this is the year Truex... Truex uh, Martin Truex Jr. gets get finally gets it done. And... Yeah, if Johnson, if Johnson doesn't win the championship, then definitely... I would love to see Martin Truex Jr. win the championship. He has worked. He has worked his butt off this entire season. He has tried so hard with his small with a small team of Furniture Racing, and uh, yeah, ever since 2015, ever since 2015 started, he's become he's become a literal dominant force to be reckoned with. And this season, with his se <clears throat> with his seven victories so far in the season, there's no question. That Martin Truex Jr. deserves this championship more than any other driver, more than anyone else in this in, in this entire field. I mean, Truex deserves this championship. To be honest with you, if John if Johnson can't cannot win the championship this year, Truex deserves this championship more than anyone. He just he deserves it for for the hard work he's putting into, um, for all those stage wins. Holy. Crap! That was uh, like I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about all these stage wins. He got this new city. He's he got this new format, um, locked up. He's got it all written down. He knows what he has to do. And personally, Truex Truex is honestly is honestly gonna be driver of the year. Well, not 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 driver of the year because you know Dale Earnhardt Jr. is gonna win that. But um uh but yeah, Truex without question. He's he's in the, he, without question, he's in the final four. Um I am not sure though about his chances in Homestead because he got knocked out in the he got knocked out in the end and and in 2015 he really didn't have the car he really didn't have the card to 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 really contend for the win. Because you know 2015 that was all Kyle Busch that day. Um, but yeah, um, I honestly expect, um, I mean, don't be surprised if Truex is running once again towards the front. Don't be surprised if he's winning more stages, getting all of those stage points he needs. He's got a nice cushion heading into, uh, heading into Martinsville. Um, yeah, I mean, even if Truex screws up a few times, or actually a couple times, ra rather say, um, yeah, don't be. I mean, yeah, Truex is honestly. In, in, Truex can still make it in on points, and and that and and honestly, 
And honestly, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be up he's gonna be up in contention. He almost every race, you know, you know, you know how he is. He he wants to win every race now. Um, but but yeah, Truex Martin Truex Jr. He's definitely in my final four. And if Johnson doesn't win the championship, then Martin Truex Jr. will be your 2017 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. And with that, guys, there's my final four picks for the 2017. Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. If you actually enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like. And make sure you also subscribe and join the Blue Jimmy Nation if you are new to this channel. Once again, thank you all for 600 subscribers on this channel. I am just mind blown. And I don't know where I will be in life today without every without all of you, without all of you guys giving me the love and support I, I have been given every single day. And you guys make make my life make my life on YouTube more happier and more special than it ever could have possibly imagined but just thank you just thank you so just thank you all so much but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next video